This was supposed to be a big weekend along the lake shore. One last summer outing before school starts next week, but the weather may be posing a problem. 24 Alpha News 8 Steve Kelso is live in Grand Haven with more on the dangers we've been seeing today. Steve? Yeah, Brian, what I can tell you is that we got here about 3.30 to Grand Haven, and the winds have increased steadily since then. When I talked to uh, meteorologist Matt Kurtwood, he told me that the winds we were experiencing here were greater than the winds that they were experiencing on the shores of New Jersey from Hurricane Earl. We have seen the, the waves crashing over the pierhead and becoming more and more higher and higher as they come. You can see them now just blasting over the break wall here. We have seen a lot of people ignoring the red flags and jumping in the water here, creating a very dangerous situation. By 11.30 this morning, the waves were already building in Ludington. And while some thought swimming was a good idea on this red flag day, Lorraine Lamazoo decided she would watch... From my car. <laughs> I'll watch from the car. West winds to 30 knots, increasing the gales to 40 knots. That warning you're hearing is from the National Weather Service radio. The people who run the SS Badger car ferry heard that warning loud and clear. They canceled today's sailings the first time this year. We did watch the weather very closely and decided this last night. We were able to get a hold of um, almost all of our passengers and tell them ahead of time. Nearly 600 people have been booked to ride today's ferry. Most decided to use their tickets another day instead of asking for refunds. Red flag means it's going to be fun out. Yeah, it's not good unless it's red. No, that's not really what a red flag means. It means danger. And yet by 3.30 this afternoon when we took these pictures in Grand Haven, several people had chosen to ignore those warnings, leading to a potentially deadly situation. Waves here are expected to reach between 10 and 14 feet before they finally die down late Saturday evening. Now it seems that now it seems people have stopped jumping in the water, but the waves continue to crash over here. And just within the last hour or so, we were actually asked to move our truck out of the way because they wanted extra parking in case they needed to get emergency vehicles in here in case they had a rescue situation. We should also mention that the Lake Michigan Express Ferry canceled their runs today, their last run back from Muskegon or from Milwaukee back to Muskegon and the run back at 11 o'clock back to Milwaukee. That's all been canceled tonight as well. Reporting live in Grand Haven, Steve Kelso, 24-Hour News 8. Okay, Steve, thank you.